What is up, the Ask Me Emmy Attic here again, the Attic with a fashionable crave for otaku meat. Here with the unboxing of Parasite Mangas Volumes 1 all the way through 8. Yeah, I got this stuff during the Right Stuff sale with Kodansha, where I was able to get this stuff, like, really, really cheap on here. Like, as almost as, like, as much as, like, of, like, a AAA video game as I said before, like, probably around, like, 60 bucks or whatever. But anyway, let's actually get down and unbox this. So here we have them zoomed up close and personal and unwrapped. Well, not really unwrapped, they just come out of the box. These are so hard to do an unboxing for. But here we got the first volume on here. I really love the designs on these manga covers. Like, the guy was probably having a ball just making these. Oh, the third one is my freaking favorite because it looks like the condescending Wonka meme that you see from the internet. Oh my god, it's... Uh, yeah, it's a condescending parasite, you could probably just say. And with the, volume four over here, and also they decided, like, color the the title I mean the number of the volume a little differently oh my god like yeah like some of the stuff was a little bit horrifying in the anime but the manga the manga is just nightmare fuel and all this stuff on here and then with volume 8 with just a little drawn little miggy thing probably just a hint of what happens in the eighth volume and with all that together let's while I keep talking a little bit I'll just go down through each volume so here we have the first volume over here with me talking a little bit more about like the manga art style that is widely different from the anime. For here it was a lot more of comedic spirit a little bit, while also having uh, Shinichi over here who kind of looks like really hunkyish, emo hunkish or whatever for the time that this was made, like around the 80s I believe. Same with the decade with Berserk though, it was in the late 80s, I think this was in the late 80s as well too on here. And yeah, all these models do look really 80s-ish or something. Actually, I don't know, Murano kind of looks like someone from the 70s or 60s? I'm not, make that the 50s, yeah the 50s or whatever on here. Yeah, so with the anime that was done by Madhouse, yep, yeah, see more Nightmare Fuel on here. I just, yeah, like there's some more spirit with the designs like on here than compared to some parts of the anime and I think the one with Miggy oh my god I'm not gonna show the one with Miggy because that just always creeped me out on here and I could see why they also changed uh, Shinichi's appearance to make a visual representation of his change further along into the story which I was really impressed with because yeah visual medium you show that Miggy I mean Miggy changed Shinichi to the point of him becoming like the epitome of his like physicality or whatever in the human race or whatever on to the second one Though there could be some downsides when comparing the anime to the manga, mostly to the manga, because, yeah, I could see Shinichi be more of a main hero or whatever in this story than the one that was in the anime series on here, because, yeah, he just looked a lot more, like, heroic, though that might be a little bit of also of a negative, because that would be a little bit Boy Scout-ish and <laughs> Though the anime does have a fault on adding, like, Shinichi just with a single pair of glasses, making me think, hey, this is like Japanese Spider-Man or whatever, which can be a tad bit of a negative because the Spider-Man that we're probably thinking about is the one from the early 2000s which has its own significant faults yeah third though each one has their own faults and positives on here which is similar to one reviewer on fandom post was mentioning about like yeah the manga was pretty cool but some stuff in the anime had some great liberties and yeah this is the change that I was talking about like he starts getting like a little bit of a uh, little hair around ever make him look a little bit like David Tennant like one of the doctors in Doctor Who which I remember adding in my review because my little brother was like yeah he looks like David Tennant or whatever which is not a bad thing at all which is probably also a reason why Kana would probably fall in love with Shinichi and like probably become a little bit of stalkerish in the anime. I'm sorry if I'm spoiling a little bit too much of the anime, but you had your chance to watch it. Like, I think it's been like two years now. Anyway, four. Though I see myself sticking with the anime because the manga seems a little bit dated. Yeah, I know that sounds like much of a negative, even though how much people say it was one of like the better like mangas of the time and maybe some parts of the anime got trashed a little bit, but... But there's some slang used in the manga, and also there's some like designs that seem a little bit too cartoonish for the for the thing that I was trying to portray. The smart thing the anime did was have like most of the comedic moments in the very beginning to show like the whole contrast with how it gets more darker now and how you, the viewer, want to feel more sad with the situations that are happening, and you wish it was back to those comedic moments, like a la the bathroom scene. Five. And even though back in the 80s there was this whole thing of like being more reasonable that no one would be able to see these parasites so clearly, I really am glad they still kept it in the anime and like still like modernized it a little bit more with the whole thing that there was some slight pictures that you could see of these like murders and such, like no nothing of word of mouth. And I'm just gonna be moving this around because the rest gets a little bit spoiler territory on here, but I'll see if I can slowly go to pictures after pictures on all this stuff. But even the modern setting for how these parasites are able to move around in incognito or stealthy or whatever is also reasonable because basically these parasites were able to learn how to speak like from the 
from the drop of the hat after they were like born or whatever i mean not from the drop of the hat they still had to learn but they learned so quickly if they learn so quickly then there should be a reasonable idea that maybe they're also reasonable of their i mean they're able to know everything of their surroundings and such and are able to hide and such you can like the manga or you can like the anime it's your choice but both of them are good in their own rights which was what the fandom post user also mentioned on here but with all that out of the way i don't want to try to like read the rest of like these because the rest gets like very deep into spoiler territory i've been trying i try to hide all the stuff that i could out of this stuff but yeah altogether, i'm really glad i got the manga series and i'm probably gonna get the uh migi i mean the shinichi manga figurine that is coming out yeah it's based off the manga counterpart but still i like the manga counterpart too even though both of them are a little bit david tennant ish but i don't know i also there's a little charm to like his 80s uh shinichi or whatever but with all that out of the way with the kodansha sale that I was able to get over here it was around $52 and such which was like below a $60 game so if you wait for another Kodansha sale you might be able to get all this stuff at that same price it was just freaking great on here but with that out of the way thank you for seeing this unboxing and also me talking a little bit about the whole contrast between the manga and the anime with volumes 1 through 8 of Parasite and I hope you enjoy it what are your thoughts on this unboxing? What would you like to request? Leave a like, comment, or subscribe to my channel. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, support my Patreon, while enjoy my content. This has been the Aspie Amiatic, and thank you for seeing this video, and for many more to come. Bye.